This video is sponsored by Saptic. More about them later on. Hey guys, Chris here. In this video, we're gonna go through the best electric cars. You can buy between 40 and 60-ish thousand euros between four and 600,000 kroners. And as in the last list, I'm giving you guys the Norwegian prices and the Euro prices is that price with 20% VAT, which is the average VAT across Europe. But again, depending on where you live, prices may vary. So some places the VAT may be less and the electric car is cheaper and some places, well, VAT may be higher and the electric car we're talking about may be more expensive. So for the specific price, go to the manufacturer's website in your country and you'll see what the car will cost. And also again, we're doing starting price. We're not doing spec out prices because if I were to spec these cars spec to spec, which would probably be pretty much impossible, but if I would try to do that as good as possible, it would take me days to make this list. And also these cars are not in any particular order because they are very different. Some of these cars are much smaller than the biggest cars. And also lastly, this is a list of saloons. So we're not including hatchbacks. We're not including SUVs and coupes and other body styles because I think the electric, you know, saloon or, you know, electric sedan, is the sweet spot where you're getting most range for your money and also most features for your money. Before I give you guys the first car on this list, I've divided this list into three size categories. So you have your small saloon, your midsize and your large. So we're starting with the small cars and that is the Tesla Model 3 standard range. Starts from 410,000 kroners or 47,500 euros. WLTP rates this car at 491 kilometers and the price per kilometer you're getting of range is 835 kroners or 97 euros. This car has a net battery capacity that's usable capacity of 57.5 kilowatt hours and a peak charging speed of 170 kilowatts. All of the cars on this list have a CCS connector, unlike the list where we did with the cheapest cars, where some of the cars had CHAdeMO, well, uh, connectors. 283 horsepower and rear wheel drive. We also have the Tesla Model 3 long range on this list, 495,000 kroners starting price, uh, that's 557,300 euros. WLTP rates this car at 602 kilometers, and that is the most range we're gonna get out of a car with all wheel drive on this list, which is pretty, well, pretty impressive that range. Price per kilometer, 822 kroners, so a little bit less than the standard range, or 95 euros. Net battery capacity is 75 kilowatts, kilowatt hours, and a peak charging speed of 250 kilowatts, which is the most of any car here on the list. But interestingly enough, it's not the quickest to charge from 10 to 80%. 498 horsepower and four wheel drive. So the pros about this car is the supercharger network, but this is only applicable if you live in a place that doesn't have a built out non supercharger network like we do have here in Norway. I think there are about 3,200 non Tesla superchargers that are faster than 150 kilowatts and about 1,500 supercharger stalls. So, and not all of those are 150 uh, kilowatts. I think the slowest ones, the V ones are like 120. So you don't have that advantage here in Norway uh, with the supercharger network. And on top of that, about 500 of those uh, supercharger stalls are available to non super Tesla well cars to charge. Uh, good charging speed, 170 kilowatts and also great charging speed with the long range version here. You have great range with the long range version here. And you also have good value, both standard range and long range. Good infotainment system. You have a nice interior for the price and also a roomy front cabin. The cons, this car does have a choppy and busy ride. You also have a noisy cabin, especially at motorway speed and also questionable driver ergonomics and secondary controls. Things like your window switches, your steering wheel controls uh, to adjust the steering wheel are buried in a menu. So a lot of things are just buried in the menu and things that in every other car here, you can just, you know, do with buttons. You have to go into the menu. 
So that's a bit questionable. Also lacking in the buttons uh, department with steering wheel controls and stuff like that. And also not the most exciting exterior design. The next car here on the list is the Polestar 2 long range single motor. The second car and the only other car here in the small category. This starts from 419,000 kroners or 48,300 euros. It has a WLTP retro range of 551 kilometers, giving us the lowest price per kilometer here on the list. 760 kroners per kilometer or 88 euros. I think this is the only car that comes below 800 kroners per kilometer or below 90 euros per kilometer. It has a net battery capacity of 75 kilowatt hours and a peak charging speed of 155 kilowatts. 231 horsepower and front wheel drive. We also have the Polestar 2 long range dual motor starting from 459,000 kroners or 53,100 euros. This has a WLTP rated range of 487 kilometers and has a price per kilometer of 942 or 109 euros. That has a net battery capacity of 75 kilowatt hours, 155 kilowatts of peak charging speed, and has 408 horsepower and four wheel drive. Pros about this car, it has the best value here with the long range single motor, and also great range with the long range single motor. It has the best infotainment system in the business in my opinion. It also has good ride and handling. It has great seats and also a great interior for the price. It looks stunning and also has a great quality feel when you drive this car. It also the only car here which is a hatchback so the trunk even though not the biggest is going to be the most practical here on the list. Cons though, it does have a cramped front interior and also a cramped rear cabin. It also has a noisy interior at motorway speeds and can also get very expensive if you option it out with all the options. The first mid-size car here on this list is the Hyundai Ioniq 6 rear wheel drive. Starting from 500,000 kroners or 57,900 euros, it has a WLTP rated range of 614 kilometers, giving us a price per kilometer of 812 kroners or 95 euros. Net battery capacity is 74 kilowatt hours with a peak charging speed of 233 kilowatts. Not the fastest or the highest peak charging speed, but it is the fastest to charge from 10 to 80% doing it in something like 18 minutes, which is just ridiculous. It has a 228 horsepower rear electric motor. You also have the Hyundai Ioniq 6 all wheel drive starting from 530,000 kroners or 61,300 euros. This has a WLTP rated range of 583 kilometers coming in at 909 kroners per kilometer or 105 euros. It has the same 74 kilowatt hour battery pack, same 233 kilowatts of peak charging speed, but this has, you know, 325 horsepower from an all wheel drive system. Pros about this car is good value for both the rear wheel drive and the all wheel drive. It also has great range for the rear wheel drive and the all wheel drive. It has a quality interior, a roomy and spacious interior. It also has a great ride, good looks and a great charging speed. So I haven't driven this car just to be fully transparent, but I've driven the Ionic 5. And from what I've understood is that this interior is basically the interior of the Ionic 5 and it drives pretty much like the Ionic 5, just a little bit less SUV. So these are the things I'm giving it from the Ionic 5 and also the cons, not the most intuitive infotainment system. The next car on the list is also a car I have not driven and have not driven any of its siblings. That is the Xiaopeng P7 rear wheel drive long range starting from 460,000 kroners or 53,200 euros. It has a WLTP rated range of 530 kilometers or 868 kroners per kilometer. That's 100 euros per kilometer. 75 kilowatt hours of usable battery capacity with a peak charging speed of 100 kilowatts, which is the lowest here on the list. 267 horsepower from a rear electric motor. We also have the Xiaopeng P7 four wheel drive high performance starting from 520,000 kroners or 60,100 euros. This has a WLTP rated range of 470 kilometers, which is the lowest here on the list if I'm not mistaken, with a price per kilometer of 1,106 
kroners or 128 euros. This has the same 75 kilowatt hour battery pack, same 100 kilowatts of peak charging speed, but it has 430 horsepower from dual electric motors and an all wheel drive system. Pros about this car, again, I haven't driven it, but this is from the stats and from what I've well managed to gather. It has it's good value for the rear wheel drive version. It has great range for the rear wheel drive version. It has stunning looks, a nice interior, and the biggest trunk here at 440 liters. It has mediocre value with the four wheel drive version and also the slowest charging speed of any car here on the list. I just wanna take a second to thank you so much for clicking on this video. You guys have no idea how much it means to me. Every view, every like, every subscription. You guys really make this possible for me to do this basically as a living at this point in time. So thank you so much, guys. I really do appreciate it. And also, if you do like the content, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on all the cool and upcoming videos and cars I have here on the channel in the, the next weeks and months. It's gonna be really exciting. And also, if you don't wanna do that, you just wanna you know watch this video, I would really appreciate it if you guys just hit that like button down below and also i want to give a huge thanks to today's video sponsor septic with their septic go which is a cool small and stylish home charger that can charge up to 11 kilowatts on ac charging and looks awesome you can spec it in a few different colors you can change the colors afterwards so if you want to well buy yourself a septic charger before christmas go to the link down below find your country and find your retailer. So again, huge thanks to Saptec for sponsoring today's video. The next car here on the list is also a car I haven't driven because it hasn't come to market yet. And that is the Neo ET5 with the 75 kilowatt hour battery pack. It starts from 509,000 kroners or 58,800 euros. This car has a WLTP rated range of 445 kilometers, giving it a price per kilometer of 1,143 kroners or 132 euros, which is the worst value here on the list. That is the highest price per kilometer of any car here. It has a net battery capacity of 70.5 kilowatt hours and a peak charge speed of 140 kilowatts. It has 489 horsepower from dual electric motors, giving this car all wheel drive. We also have the Neo ET5 with the 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. That car starts from 579,000 kroners or 66,900 euros. This has a WLTP rated range of 580 kilometers or 998 kroners per kilometer. In euros, so that is 150 euros per kilometer. Net battery capacity 90 kilowatt hours with a peak charging speed of 140 kilowatts and 489 horsepower from two electric motors giving this car four wheel drive. The pros about this car it has great range with the 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. It also has stunning looks and a decent interior. This also has a battery swap technology so the prices here are if you purchase the battery. You can also lease the batteries or rent it for a lower purchasing price, but I've only included purchasing the cars here, so this list is fair. The cost though, mediocre value for the 75 kilowatt hour battery pack version, so if you wanna go for the value version, don't go for that. Also, the battery swap tech is limited. There's only a handful of stations here in Norway, if even that, where you can swap batteries, and in other markets, that's going to be even less. This also has the Nomi AI assistant on top of the dashboard, which is just super annoying. I had it in the ES8 I drove earlier this year and you can't option it away. It's just annoying and very weird and distracting. Also, this car has the smallest trunk at a measly 386 liters. The first large car we have here on the list is the BYD Han 4x4. It starts from 570,000 kroners or 65,900 euros. It has a WLTP rated range of 521 kilometers. That is 1,094 kroners per kilometer or 126 euros per kilometer. 83 kilowatt hour usable battery with a peak charge speed of 120 kilowatts. It has dual electric motors with 517 horsepower, the most out of any car here, giving it a zero to 100 kilometer time of 3.9 seconds, also all wheel drive. The pros about this car is it's the biggest car here. It's the most roomy and spacious interior. It also looks good in and out. It has a snappy infotainment system and also great performance. 
I haven't driven this car. I've driven the BYD Tang with the same infotainment system. And that is what I'm well deducting from here. So again, I haven't driven this car. The cons though, mediocre value, but remember this is a large vehicle. So the value is based upon the price per kilometer. It has also one of the highest starting prices of any car here on the list. And it also has slow charging, 120 kilowatts. Yeah, that is quite slow. The last car here on the list is a car I almost didn't include or didn't want to include because it sits just above the limit of 600,000 kroners or 60,000 euros I sat at the beginning of the video, but it's just barely over that. And it does have one unique thing that is the best out of every car here. That's why I wanted to include it. Well, the car we're talking about is the Mercedes EQE 300. It starts from 616 thousand kroners or 71,100 euros. It has the best range of any car here on the list with 626 kilometers, which is just insane. This car is by far the best car in my motorway range test and also the Norwegian high speed run. So this is just an impressive car when it comes to range because you know, WLTP numbers may vary from the real world numbers, but this car very much delivers in the real world, in my opinion. It also, for a large car coming in under a thousand kroners per kilometer, 984 kroners is actually quite good value or 114,000 euros. It has a net battery capacity of 89 kilowatt hours and a peak charging speed of 170 kilowatts. It has 245 horsepower from a rear electric motor. So the pros about this car, it actually good value for the size of vehicle, as I said, below a thousand kilometers per kilometer. It also has a great range, 626 kilometers WLTP is amazing. It also has a great looking interior, which is also high quality, especially for the price. And it is also very quiet on the motorway. It has a great ride. I mean, the comfort in this car is amazing. It also has a roomy interior and also good charging speed, 170 kilowatts, not the best, but compared to a lot of cars here, it is pretty good with quite a flat charging curve. The cons though, it is by far the most expensive here and that is the starting price. Once you start optioning this car, it can get very, very expensive. I think the car I tested a few months ago with a few basic options, I mean, it wasn't specced out at all, it was like 750,000 kroners, that's 75,000 euros before VAT. So it can get very expensive and also, it's not a very pretty car. I am not a fan of the exterior design. So guys, there we go. That was my list of the best electric cars between 40 and 60,000 euros or 400 and 600,000 kroners. That isn't a hatchback or isn't an SUV or a coupe or anything, you know, sporty, just practical, good old fashion saloons or sedan. So is there any car I missed? I really tried looking for cars that I may have missed, but let me know in the comments section down below. And also let me know which is your favorite car here on the list. The car I'm most excited about testing is the Hyundai Ioniq 6, because I think that car is just great, great value. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below. And for more car content, as always, please subscribe. See you guys later and goodbye.